privilege it is to be here amongst you, amongst my peers and colleagues and the facilitation universe. Um, I am uh, have privileged to have been one of the uh, early uh, originators of the IAF back at the beginning. That's why I get this little pin in here, get to wear it every now and then. Um, just FYI, in addition, of course, to the <clears throat> Midwest Facilitators Network, to Paul and Dan, some others of you probably were a part of it way back when, uh, one of the original, uh, the, the, the early founders of the IAF held the meeting here in Chicago where they decided that the informal group that had been meeting would, in fact, they would turn the dial and turn it into an association. And that decision was made here in Chicago. So Chicago could claim a little bit of the ownership of what the IAF is. Some of you may know, <clears throat> I have one of the uh, chapters in the first IAF book on um, affirmative facilitation is the title of the chapter. And the editor of the book, 33, 33 practitioners wrote up a different uh, skill set uh, in that book. Here is the setup. <clears throat> uh, and this is not strictly a facilitation gig. This is, and I suspect some of you find yourself in this situation, I hope I have one for everybody, uh, where um, it's actually a conference, a day-long conference. And uh, this is based upon a real client of mine, and I have tried hard, but admittedly not too hard, to disguise it in order to protect the innocent. Um, it's uh, the AFDC State Financing Roundtable Conference uh, to be held in any town my state. And uh, here's the setup. <clears throat> um, now, Half of this is true and half of this I'm making up, and you won't know the difference. <clears throat> so the <clears throat> organizers, the AFDC staff, uh, have, uh, they're in the business of uh, public finance, development finance. And they have this roundtable for the state of my state. In fact, they do this in about 20 different states. And they have a similar kind of agenda for all of these roundtables. And it's a round table of, of practitioners, uh, 75 people registered for this event. And they're people who like do bond financing, municipal bond financing. They figure out how to finance, how you're going to uh, put in the new CTA line or the metro line. They figure out how to build bridges, how to do interstate highways. They figure out how to finance hospitals. They, they, you know, they're in that business. The, they're made up of investment brokers, uh, people who uh, do this, and, and, and so forth. And they're here to learn best practices of the trade. They want to get up to speed, professional development conference. So the AFDC designed this event <coughs> to get them up to speed on the latest skills. So... I'll cut to the chase. This is a day long of talking heads. This is a day long, there's, it says panel moderator. It's really another practitioner get, as an excuse to give another talk. PowerPoint <coughs> by death, okay? Yeah. Not, you know, all of their PowerPoints are just, you know, small <laughs> 10 point text, you know, that no one can read about. 20 lines worth of 10 point text because they're, you know, this is a content driven, you know, you got to get, you got to know your stuff. So, you know, it, uh, certainly no images or pictures. Prezi is out, you know, they wouldn't even think of that. They don't even know what it is. So, but you know, bless their hearts, the AFDC says after the agenda is set and they've recruited all the people, they say, you know, maybe a facilitator could help us. Mm -hmm. So they've invited you, us, to come in and say, all right, here's our agenda. 
Do you have any ideas of how we can sort of spruce it up? <laughs> That's the challenge for the next few minutes. Yeah, right. What are creative ways to make this agenda and I'll first of all just use shorthand come alive and um, what I mean by that interactive uh, energetic a little redundant and uh, we're having a spelling amnesty today uh, interesting fun but still a quality educational happening. Now, do you basically get the, this case, the situation? Uh, advice for the moderators, advice for the presenters, uh, advice about table setup, advice about how to do PowerPoints, advice anywhere. Suggestions, ways. So now I'm going to have us pair up and I'll tell you how we're going to pair up in a minute. Your task as a pair, and we'll have one uh, triad here, is to share with each other your five best ideas. And as your partner is sharing something with you that you don't know what is, you're free to say, tell me about that. In other words, learn from your partner Learn from each other about your ideas if you don't understand what they're telling you. You know, if they say, well, do a, do a whizzy G here, you know, what's a whizzy G? So figure that out. Um, do an affinity here, you know, what's an affinity? Uh, now's the time to ask. But then, once you've sort of shared your ideas and learned from one another, maybe select your top seven between the two of you that you really are kind of excited about. Five to seven, I'll let you decide. And uh, uh, we'll short, uh, and then be prepared to share those with us uh, in a, after about 10 minutes, okay? To send me an email of all of your ideas, even if they all don't get up here on the wall. I, I don't think we're going get, to get them done. And this is my email address, so if one of you could be designated to... And this is J-T-R-O-X-E-L-49 at gmail.com. Send me a little love note with your all of your good ideas. <clears throat> However, let's get a sampling. <coughs> let's get a sampling of what we've got. And I'd like to go around and have each uh, pair uh, share with us, uh, first of all, one at a time. So pick the first one you uh, select to share with us have it be your most innovative out of the box, just, just for fun. Something you don't think anybody else in the room has thought of, okay? So just, that'll be the first one you share. <clears throat> and, so you got the idea? So, uh, and we'll get as many as time allows, and then if you send me all of your ideas, then I'll send it to you, Kristen, and you can send it out to everybody, okay? So, um, we, first we have Kimberly and Dan. Give me your one <coughs> best idea here. Yeah. So, so, so we have some that kind of come together with the, how many of you seen the Simon Sinek TED Talk? The why? Yeah. Um, start with why. That's awesome. Yeah. So start with why. What, so, what, who, what starts with why? Uh, they each present. So, the, so this, is, this is a preparation where they're asked to watch the t a TED Talk video. Oh! <laughs> okay. So watch the Simon Sinek TED Talk. Simon Sinek one, yeah. And then, and then you carry the theme of why all the way through the, the day. I think it's getting the theme. Mm -hmm. so, okay. that, so that they put a face on all this work they're doing, because ultimately it's what you need to do. Okay. By the way, uh, Dan or uh, Paul, either one of you want to describe this now I see you have your both you have your computers, but I'm not asking you to do it. But I'll do it. Uh, okay, okay, then send it to me when you get done and so forth. Okay, so uh, thank you, uh, Paul and Janice. Should I say? Um, for the let's make it deal section, the presentation of these things that need financing, we're going to have them do it in Paige Akuka style. 
You have what style? Pizza Kuka. What's I never know how to say that. What? Okay. P-E-C-H-A. K-U-C-H-A. It's 20 slides in 20 seconds. 20 slides in 20 seconds. Now everybody gets that. And then the rest of it will be open space with open space rules. So you have the lot two feet so you can move around. And if you're like in the wrong place, because it's all about matchmaking. It's all about um, projects finding their funders. Yes. So the funders have to do a really compelling presentation. Yes. And then everyone can move around and do open space. They okay. Can, so they can be um, uh, cross pollinators or they can move on. Or Super. Whatever. Okay, good. Thank you. Uh, Walter and uh, with uh, Rocky. Well, we thought that uh, there's three components to this. Uh, do you want all three or do just one? Give me your one best idea and I'll come back around. One best idea is uh, working with the presenters themselves and, uh, and seeing if we can uh, give them a strong reason for uh, shifting their thoughts and their presentation, sharing that with us by uh, letting them know that we're going to video record this and make this a uh, phenomenal Woo! presentation mm -hmm. and ask them to do the 10, 20, 30 uh, rule, which is 10 slides, 20 minutes, 30 point. 30 point slides. Right. That, say that again. 10 minute presentation. 10 slides, 20 minutes, 30 point slides. And the slides are going to be in a black background with white lettering because <laughs> That's uh, much more appropriate to video recording okay. so you don't get a whitewash. Can you say that one more time? 10 slides, 10, 20, 30. 10, 20, 30. 10 slides, 20 minutes? 10, 10 slides, 20 minutes, 30 points. 30 point right. font. 30 point font. 30 point font. 30 points on each slide. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> yes! Well, and, and that's a corollary, maybe Rocky, you've heard this, it's the 6 by 4 or 4 by 6. No sli slot. No slide, no, I'm not I'm saying this right. Six lines with maximum of four words or four lines with a maximum of six words. Period. Say that In 30 again, point five. Six by four rule. Either six lines with only four words or four lines with only six words max per slide. Is that right? So that's 24 that's words per slide? Huh? 24 words per slide. 24 words max per slide. Alright. Are you editing Rocky's? Editing? No, I'm, I'm adding it. Oh, oh, I guess I'm adding it. 3.8. 3.8 point point is the 4 by 6 rule wow. on four, 4 slides. Thank you guys. Gretchen and Steve. So, um, it was a two part thing. One, we give every presenter a uh, template for their slides so that it follows a bunch of these rules up front and it has a little more color, whatever. But um, the facilitator also plays the, the role as, as a moderator and for each presentation we get to go, so what? What does that really mean? And instead of talking technical and diving deep, well what that really means is, um, you know, and here are those key points that that the presenter wants the audience to take uh, take away, and then we have aligned with that like a little pad of paper that has all the different information. With here was the key takeaway. Here's my golden nugget. Here's the a cool story of how I could actually apply it. So that we tie in the presentation, some interaction, and something that I can take away. That's terrific. Just a reminder. Right now, there isn't any facilitator there at all. I know. Oh, okay. You said facilitator is moderator. Could, could be a moderator and kind of okay. be that kind of... So there's if, no one running the meeting. Well, there's a timekeeper that says next or something no. or so forth. No money. But, the, no. but, but, the, but the, the panel moderators are all themselves been recruited and they're all, uh, they're all uh, practitioners in this field. They're not trained to be a moderator or a facilitator or nothing. Okay. They're, they're, they don't know, they don't know what to do after the present many of them. There are some very gifted people who can know how to be a good moderator. Most of these folks don't. What's that last sentence, Jim? A pad with uh, key ideas already printed on it. Right? So what the key idea was from this presentation, what my story is, how I might apply it. 
within my scenario, they can have it pre-ready to go so that they can take away. Super. Okay, where are we? Who's next? We're next. Okay, Pat and uh, Chris. Okay, so yeah. we were trying to think of a way to get people sitting yeah. with like-minded yeah. people. So maybe some, yeah. some way of um, assigning particular topics or areas of interest to different tables. We're assuming that people are sitting at the round tables today. That just is going to create yeah. more energy. Um, What's their favorite Excel spreadsheet function? <laughs> <laughs> How about why are they there? Like, like, yeah, like yeah. revolve it around purpose. What are you wanting to get out of this conference type of thing? What's your interest? And then, and then so they end up sitting with at least people that are have share the same purpose or the same thing. Okay. Now, how would you actually do that? You, when they when they walk in the room, they they go here, go where? Where would they go? Yeah, I mean, maybe the tables have an ID, and, and you you know you actually at registration they get to pick, right? Or oh, okay. Could kind of like open the one, topic and you pick one of the, the topics. topics. Could, okay. Well, it could it just subject. All right. Could be predefined, right? Could, and predefined possibly style. predefined. Yeah. Can I build on that with just something simple? I don't know how this. Can I? No. <laughs> uh, can I build it all? Excuse me. Can I build on it? That certainly, way? certainly. Just, I was just thinking, um, you could do something that with colored tablecloths, and that already makes the room look better. Yeah. <laughs> it's a colored tablecloth of a meeting related to this story. What, what was that? What was that? The <laughs> colored tablecloth <laughs> related to this thing that you're interested in. Yeah. Topic, yeah, topic. Yeah, topic. Has an affinity. Yeah, it has an affinity related to color. So you can move around, but just like having colors, it just makes the room. Oh, wow. Cool. 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 You could do it like open space, though, where yeah. like they, as they come in, they, yeah. if, if there's an open table, they get to state their purpose, and that's, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. They're probably going to sit by people they know. Yeah. Well, this would be yeah. a Which we thought. Unless you bring it up. You've got to figure out how to break them up. Yeah. Yeah. That's what we're saying. Somehow. Okay, uh, Runa, Steve, and uh, Laura. Laura. That's okay. That's all right. Yeah. What was your best idea? Oh, I may need that. Well, we, we talked about limiting slides. We, we talked about, and we talked about color, but um, asking limit limiting oh, limit. slides, and we talked about color. But we um, we're a requirement to have uh, ten minutes of interaction at the end of each presentation, and then giving people a suite of interactive ideas. So for example, um, according to your objective, give us some questions and have the questions all out on the table and have people pick, pick their question mm -hmm. and answer it and give each other the answer. Mm -hmm. um, have people share best practice stories. How have you applied this? Um, what's worked for you? Have people share the most vulnerable moment? <laughs> <laughs> But have a suite of um, interactive ideas. A suite of interactive ideas. Give them to the presenters and ask them to allow 10 minutes, ask them to choose one and allow 10 minutes at the end of the presentation to execute one of the ideas. All of our ideas are interactive. What do you mean, interactive? Well, like the, what I just did. <laughs> <laughs> application. Oh, applications. Yeah. Oh, I like that, yeah. What are we going to do with this information yeah. when we go back to our community? I got it. <clears throat> Did you say if presenters share one of their ideas or the participants share? One of their ideas? I think you're talking about pre predefined questions, right? Predefined what you can, you're asking you're you're asking the presenters to leave ten minutes um, and giving them a suite of ideas to create application exercises for participants for table discussion, right there. Right. And it was already pre-arranged, or pre-written now. So Give them instructions so that they don't have to think about it. Gotcha. Okay, cool. All right, let's go around one more time, and I think it's all the time we've got. So, look back over here. We thought, um, going with tablecloths, that there are the tablecloths people can write on, and they can create mind maps on them, or we can have a, um, a mind map in front of the room. Well, when we say my nap in front of the room, someone would have to do it. Right. Who would do that? Well, they don't have a facilitator. <laughs> they <don't know. laughs> they're hiring us. No, they're not hiring us to, to be there. Okay. They're hiring us to give them ideas. Who 
Mm -hmm. They have $2,000 they can pay. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. So we could have a, a graphic facility. Yes. So building, it sort of builds on, on the idea yeah. of, of having a, a way to interact after the presentation, but to actually predefine some listening arcs for participants. What's that read? Predefine some listening arcs. So it's a way of active listening, where you say, listen, listen for the challenges in this presentation. You call those listen listening arcs? Arcs, yeah. Listen for the tools and techniques, and so you give, give people very specific things to listen for, and then the, the 10 minutes after could be the Google listening arcs. It's yeah. great, great. So that, so that they, they enter in the presentation with something that they've got to work on themselves as they listen. Love it. Love it. Okay, next. So after each presentation, everybody switches to different tables. Oh, the same, good. The same, the same, the same, the same. There you go. And it gets them up and out of there. It gets them up and out of their chairs. Yeah. 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 Oh, I so tell you. they play a short game of musical chairs. And, <laughs> and take a couple of minutes and introduce yourself to everybody yeah, to your new table. <clears throat> What, what stood out to you from the last presentation that you're most interested in or that really energized you or, you know, some kind of deeply like that? Love it. And it is that uh, if we can have some exercises that involve standing up uh, in between by the speakers and uh, moving around and shifting around, and I think you mentioned uh, something along those lines, but something that really uh, involves some calisthenics or... or Gotcha. Can I just expand on that? Have you Please. heard of um, Tiagi's jolts? Because they work really, really well. So everybody would get up, for example, and get in a line by birthday without talking. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So they're just oh, yeah, 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 yeah. little get up and do things, and they're very energizing. They work really well. Can you do that with yes. Paul? Um, we want to integrate technology into this conference before, during, and after. So at minimum, we want to have a um, kind of that website so ahead of time they can start um, posting their kind of questions and their issues and stuff like that. What was it called? And they can start commenting. One for first round would be posting uh, concerns, issues. Second round, once people have posted all the concerns and issues, going to start looking at whatever other people have posted in their own comments. And then during the presentations, they can use this forum to pose questions and have comments so you can um, be listening to it and yeah, like texting and stuff like that at the same time. And then after the event, you have this forum where you can continue your discussions or find other people or whatever. But basically, you're you're integrating technology throughout the entire thing. Excellent. Yeah, and, the, and, and this is happening more and more, particularly yeah. with these big major conferences. Mm -hmm. No question about it. That's, and <laughs> they really need to do that. Okay. And then last idea. Music. So, so, oh, yeah. so, so we either have the presenters select their favorite music or just have yeah, the music for the current break. Well, I do have the capacity to collect these ideas and to share them with the real client. I don't believe that they will be overwhelmingly accepted. <laughs> <laughs> that point but, guys and ladies, this is what we're about. We are about helping any kind of organization that's in the middle of just plain old meetings, how to have that being a profound professional educational opportunity. And we're, I tell you, there isn't a better profession to be in right now in this world than this one. And we're just so lucky and privileged to have this opportunity, don't you think? Amen. Amen. I would like to share with you a closing kinesthetic uh, ritual of uh, for facilitators. If you would stand. Since this came up here, sometimes if you don't want to uh, uh, talk about meeting, meeting, this is meeting guidelines, and I'm, I ha I'm a little rusty on this. Here are the five meeting guidelines kinesthetically uh, articulated. Number one, and most of this is from the Native American tradition. Number one is uh, with your hands together, bow to one another to honor and respect one another. <laughs> Number two, put your hands and arms over your head and then open them up to remind yourself that we're here to have an open mind. <laughs> it's 
Three, put your hand to your ear and lean forward to remind yourself we're to listen deeply to what's being said. Snap your fingers to remind you that some of the issues just aren't going to get resolved tonight. And lastly, put your hand over your heart and open it up to remember that we're here to have an open heart. That's great. So, with that, have a pleasant evening.